These are common veg <laughs> vegetables. You know, look at these tiny little cauliflower that I have today that my friend last me got. Today I've got some tomatoes, some shallot, some spring onion, chili. I've got button mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms and I've got some mint um, and some coriander and I've got some persane in there as well, which is a lovely little weed. And I know I'm gonna need omomboshi plum vinegar and tamari. Um, so we got some of that and what else do we need? Do we, oh, some lettuce cups, gorgeous little bits of lettuce. So lab is normally eaten, you know, with a bit of cucumber and a bit of lettuce and it's just this lovely light fragrant dish. And the rice actually, when you cook this, the rice actually sucks up the fat in the pork and it brings it all together, which is really interesting. Okay, so firstly, I just want to get this cauliflower chopped up into a pork mince kind of texture, whatever that means, but you get it. And I'm just going to chop it up roughly like this and throw it back straight into the food processor. And just a quick pulse. Okay, perfect. Pan, no oil, see, no oil, no oil, hot, hot. Don't do what I do, which is I do that because my hands are asbestos hands. So we're roasting the rice. Why? Because they said so. So we don't want to make this black or anything. We just want to make this a little bit brown um, and you'll see how that'll unfold. It takes a good 10 minutes actually, to be honest. Okay, see how it's becoming a little bit brown? It's smoking, it's a dry roast. I'm constantly moving it around the pan. If you can't do the swirl and flick, just use a spoon. So straight into here. Making sense so far? Are you with me? Good, all right. And you want this to grind down, so I'm gonna go straight onto high speed. Have a look how fine that is. You can kind of see there's no big chunks in there at all. It's perfect. Amazing, right? Is we're going to cook the cauliflower and the mushrooms. We'll pop that in there like that. And this is our meat, our meat situation here. And then I'm gonna dump that into there. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. No salt as yet, because we're gonna add tamari and that omomboshi plum vinegar is quite salty. And we just wanna cook this. Now you can see this is cooked down, right? It's really cooked down. Everything's doing its thing. This is what we mean by cooking it down. Nothing's burning, that tiny little bit of oil that I put in, because I've been adjusting the heat. Okay, this is perfect. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna dump it into there. See how that's really beautifully cooked down? And like I said, nothing's burnt on there. This is where we add flavor. You can put as much in as little as you like. And I've got some spring onions. All right. And I've got some chili. And yes, they are big bits. This is a capsicum chili I call, which is a long chili, which doesn't have much heat in it. Okay, I'm gonna add that. And then I'm going to add the tomatoes. And now we're going to add our tamari. Obviously you guys are going to measure yours. And now we need to add some acid, which is some lime juice. Oh my God, that just was amazing. Amazing. Beautiful little salad, this one. Like really sensational. And now we want to taste it see where we're at. Oh yeah, brilliant. And this is where we add that rice and that's just gonna suck up all that moisture, which is super important. Oh, I'm so glad you're with me on this journey of this amazing plant-based lab. Oh, that's already doing its thing now.
<laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so hard to eat. You have to make this. Really simple, really easy baked cauliflower with a little bit of spice on there into the oven makes a great dish for the evening table. Incredible, great tapas as well. Okay, so I've got a little knife here, which is kind of cool. I love these little knives. They make things so much easier. Now I don't want big pieces, so I'm gonna cut them into small pieces. Remember, this was a tapas originally that I made this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it. Just a drizzle, a little bit of cumin, just a little, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just gonna mix that through on the board. These chopping boards are great. Okay, now I'm just gonna place them and I want the floury part of the cauliflower to be up um, as much as I can. Now see how tiny this tray is and see how much cauliflower. Yeah. One would think it would steam, but it doesn't, right? That's it. Into the oven, 180C, yeah. yeah? 15 minutes, you're gonna check them mm -hmm. and you're gonna see where they're at. And when I mean by see where they're at, we're gonna see how the outside of the tray is gonna kind of burn, right? So we wanna turn that around and mix things around a bit. So 15 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, check it out. Hot oven. It's just delicious. It's golden brown. It is, so that's what we yeah. want. Now it's hot, so be careful. I can manage heat so it's kind of all right for me. So I'm just gonna put this on a plate like this. And I've got friends coming over. It's delicious. With a bit of crunch. That's all you do. This is a beautiful vegan cauliflower taco, AKA I can't be bothered cooking and this is what you can do with cauliflower. And it's really easy. And so the trick is to kind of get that char kind of grilling so my pan's on, I want that kind of heat coming through. Come on baby, cook. All right, so here in goes this little gorgeous situation. The stuff that happens, I tell you, is so funny. It's kind of like the cameraman. <sighs> the stuff that happens in here is pretty funny. All right, so it's coming down a little bit. It's like kind of like, it's still crunchy, right? And I want it to be crunchy. I really do. I don't want it to melt into mush. Okay, now I'm gonna add my spices in and just all of them at once. A little splash of water, just like a tablespoon. Oh yeah. Mix it in. Just to bring it home, which is a little bit of olive oil. It's a couple of things. I'll put a little bit of sour cream on the base. And then I'm gonna add my salsa. And that cabbage last. And then on there, 